All right, my name is uh, Ben Armstead. I'm uh, 180 pounds at five, nine, and three quarter. Okay, and you're getting ready for what show? I'm getting ready for the Michigan State Championship. This year it's going to be held outside in a tent, which is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm competing in middleweight bodybuilding and also Class B classic bodybuilding. Okay, and this will be your first time doing this because you had done Christmas yeah. in the past, right? This will be my first time actually uh, competing in bodybuilding. I've uh, competed in physique in the past. Uh, took about two and a half years off just to work on just overall size and uh, you know trying to get add some thickness to my legs and uh, I feel like it was a very successful off season. Okay, go ahead and uh, tell us about the workout, uh, the stuff you did, what you like about. Yeah, yeah. Today's workout was more of just like a refresh at the end of the week. I've already kind of hit most everything. It's been kind of like the second time going through. Um, I started off with like a little upper chest kind of refresh, just kind of warming up the my chest and also my front delts. Uh, then I worked into some incline bench press. Uh, after incline bench press, we went over to the Smith machine and we did some behind the neck uh, shoulder presses. Uh, from there, I went over to some rear delts on a, uh, on a machine. Actually, I enjoy quite a bit. Um, after hitting rear delts, we finished off the shoulders with some uh, lateral raises, some single arm lateral raises. Um, and then we moved on to just pumping up the arms. We did a couple supersets for biceps and triceps. And after we finished with that, I did a light set on abs and then uh, finished off a little bit of posing. Okay, um, now, who you work with? Tell us a little bit you work with Scott now this year. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about him and what the experience has been like. For of course. Yeah, so this year is actually my first year working with a coach. I've always done my own dieting and my own shows. Uh, I was looking for a coach early January when I reached out to Scott McNally. Uh, I've been listening to his podcast for a few years now. Um, Scott was very eager about you know being my coach and really uh, seemed like he was almost more excited about the competition than I was, which I really just uh, enjoyed his enthusiasm and everything because I talked to a few guys and it seemed like you know he was the, the right guy for the job and uh, I can definitely say that he was. And this was your first time using a coach? Yep, absolutely. First time using a coach. Okay, so what was the experience like with uh, dieting compared to off-season as opposed to when you're dieting for the show? Yeah, so off-season, you know, I was uh, kind of coming off like a bulk in the wintertime. Uh, so, you know, obviously pushing calories pretty high. Um, I started tapering things back down right before I started with Scott. And Scott got me uh, dieted down actually using more carbohydrates than usual. Uh, in the past, I've done uh, a lot of, a lot more of like the ketogenic approach, uh, but Scott taught me that you know using carbs, I can actually, for my body, actually accelerate my fat, my fat loss even faster. I was actually in shape faster, and uh, I felt better and felt fuller as we were going through the prep. So you were getting carbs that wasn't all keto. No, yeah, I was, I was getting at least, you know, 65 to 70 carbs a day on my low days. And we did more of like a carb cycling approach, kind of coming into it, keeping fats lower. And what about cardio at this time? Um, cardio, right now we're starting to cut back a little bit. It was at seven days a week at 35 minutes. Now we're at about five days a week at about 25 minutes. But as the weeks progress down, we're probably going to cut it out again for next week and kind of coast into the show, give my legs a break. Well, the reason I switched from physique over to bodybuilding was, you know, I've been doing it for a while, and I just, I like one thing, just the overall art of bodybuilding and kind of, you know, what goes into that, you know, uh, really working on the whole package, you know, bringing the legs in with it too, not just, you know, showcasing my upper half, uh, but also going to these shows, it seems like physique they just don't get enough time on stage where just uh, it's you, you get more respect as a bodybuilder. You know, you get up there, you have more time to pose, more time to, to show everybody what you've been working on the last, you know, six months. What's it like? Because you do have a business. Um, I don't know if you want to discuss your business. Okay. You do, you're more um, but talk about that prepping plus working 40 hours a week plus yeah. know, how that all fits in. Yeah, so I'm a pretty busy guy. Even uh, during uh, the COVID shutdown, I uh, actually run two essential businesses with my family. 
Uh, we own Armstead Automotive, which we have a location in Holly and also Saginaw. Um, I pretty much manage all the guys at both locations and kept everything up and rolling this whole time. So, uh, you know, so I was working probably at least 50 hours a week. Um, I do my cardio in the morning uh, before before work. I usually do a bit of fasted, and then I do my training at night. So my days were pretty full. You know, I start out cardio in the morning, work all day, uh, get my training in, and then right back to prep and getting everything ready for the next day. It's all about being prepared and having all my food, you know, there and ready ahead of time. So every three hours, I could take a short break and you know get my meals in when I needed to. Uh, How much did you put on, but last time? Uh, I, I would say about 10 pounds of stage weight uh, since 2017. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, a lot of progress for me, I, I believe. In the off season, it looked like almost 30 pounds, <laughs> you know. But after you got everything back, I think it was about uh, about 10 pounds of lean mass. <laughs> Um, and where, during, how did you do with COVID, but where did you train at, how did that go? Yeah, so, you know, first we didn't know how long the COVID thing was going to be. We are thinking, you know, maybe it's going to be two weeks or something, so we're trying to find something temporary to train uh, when the gyms got shut down. So my training partner is actually uh, one of my guys from work, um, and we pretty much went ahead and we built a gym in his basement. You know, so we took all of our old equipment from when we were kids and also reached out to some other people and then just came up with what we could. Uh, so after building a little gym down there, we started at two weeks, and then it got extended, so we went four weeks, and shoot, by the time we were done, I think we were working out in that basement eight to ten weeks. Um, but I think uh, it was pretty beneficial because it really brought me back to my roots. Uh, you know, we did a, it was a lot more focusing. We only had a few exercises that we could, we could perform with just, you know, either dumbbells or barbells. We had a very small cable machine. Uh, so we really had to focus on the actual exercises and focus on the quality of the reps and, and you know, different, different types of sets, you know, either doing like uh, either supersets or really going down to like rest pause sets or really just working on, you know, controlled negatives and, and everything else. So I think really coming out of COVID, it made me a little bit more aware of my training and probably a better bodybuilder just because I'm paying more attention now. So now that I'm back into the gym, I have all this equipment we can use. But now it's about really getting the most out of each exercise. Okay, well, good luck. Oh, people you'd like to thank, but Yeah, I'd like to thank, uh, well, first and foremost, my wife. Uh, she's been through every single prep with me, uh, and she's definitely my rock, you know, through prep. When things get hard, uh, she's always there for me. She helps me out with my food, and, uh, you know, she's just there to talk, talk with me and support me, even when things start getting a... Uh, I start struggling there at the end a little bit, you know, but she's always had my back. Well, good luck in the show. I hope you kick some ass and we will uh, follow up after everything to see how it goes. All right, thank you.